What do you get when you combine heritage, new technology, and retro appeal? You get something like that. Those are three watches from Accutron's new Legacy Collection, who we are proud to partner with for today's video, to introduce you to the brand and take a closer look at these three timepieces. Now, the coolest and most interesting watches aren't just timepieces, they're conversation pieces. And actually, if you're a Mad Men fan, you may remember that line from a famous pitch made by the character Freddie Rumson for Accutron watches. So back in the 1950s, some watch companies started thinking about how they could address some of the fail points of mechanical watches, and particularly mechanical movements, which of course are very intricate and as a result, prone to having many things go wrong that could affect the accuracy of the watch or the watch just running in general. So that's when we saw the birth of the battery powered watch with the first example being the Hamilton 500 introduced in 1957. Accutron, however, took a very different approach. Instead of using a balance wheel, which all mechanical watches use, they used a tuning fork driven by an electromagnetic coil system powered by a battery. This was advantageous because a tuning fork is more resistant to shocks, which results in greater accuracy. It also did two other really interesting things. First, instead of the classic tick of the watch, it hummed because of the vibrations of the tuning fork. And then the seconds hand, instead of moving in jumps from second to second, had a smoother gliding motion. Accutron watches were also known for their design, particularly the space view, which made quite a splash with its deconstructed outer case design, open work dial, and exposed tuning fork movement. But beyond the space view, all the Accutron watches had a really unique look that was both modern and elegant. The three watches we're gonna be taking a closer look at today are from Accutron's new Legacy Collection, which revives some of the brand's most memorable designs from the 1960s and 70s, each a cultural and iconic design touchstone. Up first, we have the 521. Accutron introduced this watch in 1960, and it is one of the best examples of the asymmetrical look that became a hallmark of Accutron's design language. This is sometimes referred to as the king of rock and roll watch, as it was a favorite of a certain rock and roll king who was often photographed wearing it. The asymmetrical case was something completely different and new at the time, and even today, it still looks very fresh and modern. The case and the size of the case of the new 521 is completely true to the original at 32.8 by 32.5 millimeters, which makes it wearable for both men and women. The case itself is stainless steel with a gold tone. We've got a silver dial, sweeping seconds hand with a tuning fork detail, and then I love how the hour indices kind of have that lightning bolt look to them. The asymmetry continues to the crown placement as well, just below three o'clock. The case back is partially see-through. And then the example I have here is on a brown lizard embossed leather strap with a double press deployant buckle closure, though this model is also available on a gold tone stainless steel bracelet. Super cool standout piece that looks just as modern today as it did back in 1960. Up next, we have the 505, which is a very classic and elegant dress watch, though originally a favorite, surprisingly, of physicians and nurses. This watch was originally released in the 1960s and the case shape was called the Alpha Case. Alpha alluding to being the first of its kind and socially dominant, which appealed to medical workers. Accutron is actually short for accuracy through electronics and it became popular in the medical field because of that sentiment as well as its accuracy. The most notable feature of the dial here are the crosshairs dividing the dial into 15 second quarters, providing the foundation to check blood pressure and pulse. Because of that, a lot of surgeons used it, a lot of nurses used it, and it really became a tool watch in hospitals across the country. Of course, we've got that great subtly asymmetric case design, elegant hour markers with arrows at three, six, nine, and the tuning fork at 12, asymmetrical crown placement again, this time at four o'clock, simple hour and minute hands with the sweep seconds hand, partially see-through case back, and here shown on a black lizard embossed leather strap with a double press deployant buckle. I love the understated elegance of the 505 and at 33 millimeters, it's perfect for those of us with smaller wrists who are looking for a simple but unique dress watch. The third watch we're gonna be taking a look at here is the RR0. 
This is known as the Railroad Watch as it features a design that was very similar to that of a past approved 1970 Canadian Railroad Watch. The look of the 34 mm case of the RR0 is very different than many of Accutron's other offerings in that it is largely symmetrical, save for the placement of the crown, which like the 505 is at four o'clock. As this was originally intended to be a tool watch, the dial is extremely legible and useful. We have 12 hour time in Arabic numerals around the outside of the dial, 24 hour time nestled within that. And then at three o'clock, we have a small date window leaf-shaped hour and minute hands, and then a red sweeping seconds hand, which stands out for increased legibility. Like all the watches in Accutron's Legacy Collection, there is a partially see-through case back, and this watch comes on a black leather strap with double press deployant buckle. The RR0 is a simple and unassuming tool watch with a wonderful history. So there you have it, three really cool watches from Accutron's new Legacy Collection. Let me know your thoughts on these watches and be sure to check them all out on the Accutron website with the link down below in the description.